Bridgerton's first season was undeniably, unapologetically sexy. The raunchy Regency drama based on the novels by Julia Quinn burst onto Netflix in December of 2020 and instantly became a sensation for the streaming platform. Created by Chris Van Dusen and executive produced by television maven Shonda Rhimes, Bridgerton delicately balanced chase, British manners with wild and often graphic depictions of the lust shared between series leads were Gagin Page and Phoebe Dinever. Bridgerton season 1 was the period piece manifestation of the well-worn Maxima lady in the streets, with a freak in the sheets. Yet Bridgerton's second season, which hits Netflix today, has almost completely done away with the sex that defined the first season, much to its detriment. This is, in part, by design. Following the course of Quinn's novels, Bridgerton's second season has done away with Brigagine Page's rakish Duke of Hastings in favor of focusing on the love story between Jonathan Bailey's Lord Anthony Bridgerton and newcomer Simone Ashley's Kate Sharma. After initially flirting on horseback, Anthony and Kate's relationship turns prickly and competitive. They trade barbs at polo matches and verbally spar while playing croquet, both swearing to find the other absolutely revolting while secretly pining for the other. Their relationship is not dissimilar to that of Kate and Petruchio's in Shakespeare's comedy The Taming of the Shrew, an arrogant and overly proud man constantly at odds with an intelligent and headstrong young woman, also named Kate, who's sworn off men. Quinn has acknowledged the similarities between her Kate and Shakespeare's Kate, telling Glamour that a lesser actress might have allowed Kate to devolve into a taming of the shrew character Your, As such, it takes a while for their relationship to bloom. It doesn't help that Kate has a seemingly perfect younger sister, Edwina, Karithra Chandran, who is the object of everyone's eye and has multiple suitors, just like Kat's sister in Shakespeare's play. But Bridgerton diverts from Shakespeare's narrative by having Anthony become betrothed to Edwina, not Kate. While this creates a very real obstacle that keeps Anthony and Kate's passion for each other at bay, it also destroys any opportunity for the lovebirds to engage physically. And as a result, Season 1's three-minute-long sex montages have been traded for hushed whispers and gardens. The stairwell cunnilingness has been replaced by almost kisses in libraries, 